Aloha, this is Mr. Galleria from Hawaii. This morning I set up my telescope to take some pictures of the sun after seeing a video by YouTube user PJCKAC1. He made a video a couple days ago using binoculars to look at the sun. And so I'm kind of imitating what he did and I'm projecting the image of the sun on a piece of paper that uh, makes the image quite large as you'll see here in this picture. And here, in fact, you can even see in this image the little, the little, uh, let's call it Elenin. But actually, as you can see, there's a lot more involved here than just Elenin or what it, what, whatever that is. And I don't think these are objects are on the sun itself because the sun seems to be quite overexposed. Here's a little better picture. Uh, if it was the, on the sun, it would be, it probably wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to see it. I don't have the correct equipment. Now, as you can see here, we're seeing um, more than just one object. I've numbered these objects, and from uh, right to left, object number one, which is kind of a large, long object, and it has almost a cloud around it and behind it. Object number two seems to be fairly round with a large, round cloud around it, and object number three is a smaller object. Here you can see the cloud effect around the number one and number two a little better. On here, of course, is very good, very clear. This this, this massive cloud-like shadow, it's, I, it's almost defies the imagination because it's, it's equally ar all around the object number two and it's in front of and behind object number three. Here I've used different filtrations to try to expose any kind of other strange things. And you'll notice that object number three almost appears to be in some of these photos, it almost appears to be like indented, like it's a uh, a black hole, maybe. <laughs> you know, it's all, it almost seems like it's not there. Here's some filtration again, and you can see the edge of the sun isn't even uh, smooth like in the other photographs. Here's a different type of filtration. I was really interesting how these different filtrations kind of show different. Uh, anomalies or whatever you would call it. This is very interesting here. This is a plastic filtration. And the final filtration um, shows objects that you can't see. Uh, it's an emboss filtration and uh, you'll see that there's the one, two, and three and then above number two there's one and in it, and actually below number two there's also like that fog seems like it's heavier or whatever that smoke is that's around those and then it, looking at number three, if you look just to the left of number three, there's almost another object there too. So all these things are flying to the earth, towards the earth. And they're supposedly going to pass in front of the earth, but I'm not real optimistic that they're going to all pass in front of the earth. I'm wondering if, if something more isn't happening here because already it's a little bit behind. This was supposed to be at the middle of the sun on the 20 six today, but it hasn't quite reached that, so uh, we better keep our eyes